oh, oh, I'm not a beta male. I'm not a beta male. You know, you're a beta male. Beta. All right, folks. So here we are. We are back. We are reviewing a developing story. Uh, to my understanding, Ben Burgess is uh, he's he's up to something. He's up to something. So Ben Burgess on October first said I, it'll also be available on both Town Circle and the Tatasha within a few days. Blah blah blah. Based on what to whatever. So he's talking about a stupid debate with Charlie Kirk, uh, somebody who, by the way, supports the abortion uh, bounty hunter legislation in Texas, someone who supports uh, the genocide of transgender people. Ben Burgess did a very civil debate with Charlie Kirk uh, a couple days ago uh, because that's just uh, that's just how things go. So, Milo Rasan, uh, a fan of mine and a friend, I would say, if, I, if I'm allowed to say that, uh, said, Ben, I know you're hella pissed off at Andrea. That's obvious, and I hate to admit I laughed hard at your expense. Still, I hope you can appreciate the streamer's comic genius, and I hope you can laugh at this too. Think of it as a roast. And then peace emoji. So Ben Burgess is now leaking DMs. Ben Burgess, now notice. Notice that Ben Burgess leaks DMs with Myla, a friend of mine, but does not leak DMs with me. Why doesn't Ben Burgess leak DMs that we exchange? Ben Burgess is fine referencing direct messages I've sent him, uh, but not posting the actual messages. He says, it was an apology that no one would ever take seriously, he said in a couple tweets ago. But when it comes to Myla, he's willing to post direct messages. That seems a little misogynistic. Doesn't it? Does anyone? No, I'm just joking. But either way, it's it's a little ridiculous. Uh, I want to be very clear here. This is a developing story and I have not read these tweets. At 43 seconds ago, uh, this guy is bullying the shit. Now, he will debate Charlie Kirk, but he won't debate a woman, nor will he take any women seriously that are sending him videos, leaking direct messages. It's ridiculous. I'm just I'm just throwing it out there. I'm just it's it's a retweet. I'm allowed. So anyway, uh, now again, this video is a really good video. It's just it's a good video. Well, first of all, on I uh, should say something about how we video. came to be here and, and why we're doing this, uh, and then kind of what we had in mind. Uh, so um, originally, uh, the <laughs> it's idea... a good video. So anyway, Ben Burgess is actually genuinely afraid of comedians, right? He is genuinely afraid of comedians. Ben Burgess wrote an entire book called Canceling Comedians. In fact, let me see if this is like anywhere on his like profile. It's not, I mean, I wouldn't advertise that either if, if, if it were me. But anyway, he wrote a book called Canceling Comedians While the World Burns, a book based on why people shouldn't take comedians too seriously and why they shouldn't yell at them over jokes. I consider myself a comedian. I'm sorry, I do. And so when I say funny words, if you get offended by it, you look like a prissy little, I, maybe a beta male of some kind. It's a little bizarre. Uh, so anyway, why did you send me this? Months ago over DMs, you apologized to me for participating me in this. First of all, I don't, participating me in this? That doesn't sound like English. So Ben Burgess is leaking DMs. In fact, I'm gonna... Hold up, live on stream, folks. <laughs> I, I won't go that far. Um. So anyway, does anyone know what's going on here? Like, I, I really like. I apologized to him after the initial video, and then he ghosted me for three weeks. He ghosted me for three weeks, so, and then I, I specifically laid off of making videos about him because I didn't know what his deal was, and then it turns out he ghosted me and then publicly shit-talked me, so then I started making videos about him again. But anyway, so he leaks DMs and says, in any case, haven't watched and won't watch the video, but the title is hugely dishonest, and you and she both know it. That's the point! It's a joke! It's a joke. He is literally crying at comedy videos that are at his expense. Also, Ben Burgess calls Andrea a huge A-word. That's, th 
and th- that's that's not dishonest. That's what actually happened. It's a joke, Ben. Have a fucking sense of humor, bro. What is wrong with it? He wrote an entire book about how comedy is sacrosanct and how no one should criticize comedians. And now here he is. All right. Since we've been over this a thousand times, I didn't call her a huge asshole for asking that question. I called her a huge asshole for the things she said in the original video because she's a massively dishonest actor. She's consistently pretended not to get the simplest imaginable point. I love, like, again, it's a joke. What doesn't this motherfucker understand? It's a goddamn joke. The author of canceling comedians while the world burns is calling me a dishonest actor because I made a joke video about him. And I'm going to continue doing it because it's embarrassing. This is embarrassing. Hold up. I'm going to turn my AC on. This is embarrassing from Ben Burgess. Like, I'm just saying, like, this is embarrassing. Like, I again, I have his book. It's on the floor. Because why would I put it on my bookshelf? It's on the floor, but I have his book. I am not, like, I am not some rabid Ben Burgess hater. I'm not a troll. I'm just like, my thing is, if you say something silly, I am going to make fun of you if you say something silly. So Ben Burgess said something silly about January 6th. And so I made fun of him. And now he's continuing to just not be able to accept any jokes about him at all. It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. All right, so let's keep going. Again, I'm a comedian. I'm making joke videos. Like, I am making fun of him for saying stupid stuff. I do not, like, I'm, like, I don't understand how, like, anyone like this. Let, I, I, uh, this isn't a moral judgment that I think she's somehow a worse person than many people I have debated or will debate. It's that if I gave someone a conversation after making that video, it would send the worst possible message going forward and give everyone the same position. That's the thing. Ben Burgess is full of main character syndrome. He thinks anyone is going to see, oh, people are out there going like, oh, Ben Burgess accepted a debate with Andrea who made a video at his expense making a couple of jokes. Now that means, philosophically speaking, the dam has burst and old Ben Burgess must accept- What is this guy talking? He literally has main character syndrome. He thinks that this is like an ideological principled maneuver that he can't debate me because of his strict ideological principles of not debating people he views as trolls. What? 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 Like, the guy is literally so far up his own ass that I really, like, I have never experienced this before. I have never experienced this before. I really haven't. This is so goddamn funny. Why on earth would I do that? To think there's some kind of double standard here. You'd have to believe that talking to me was such a big prize for the Charlie Kirks of the world that my not doing so... And that's not the point. That's not, it's not a prize for Charlie Kirk. It's a prize for you because I think you're clout chasing and you will only debate people when you have a, like any inkling that you can gain something out of it. You won't debate someone that you know is going to steamroll you. Yeah, my critique of January 6th was sincere, Anastasia, but me calling him dumb as a shit fuck is clearly a joke. Anyway, is there more? Let's, let's see. Let's see. There's no more. Okay. To stop saying and thinking all the terrible things at the core of their cultural politics. Does she believe that? I doubt it. Does she believe what? I have no idea, like, what this guy is trying to accomplish here. I really don't. (laughs) I really, I'm sorry, but I really don't get it. I really don't get it. I really don't get it. I don't get it. Myla? Would you want to paraphrase what Ben Burgess is sending you in DMs? You don't have to send me screenshots. You you can just refuse my request outright. But I mean, like, again, why? He wrote, like, if he didn't write Canceling Comedians While the World Burns, this would be a whole, I wouldn't have gone this deep into it. I'll be honest with you. Like, if his only book was Give Them an Argument, Logic for the Left, I, like, I would have just critiqued him. I would have made fun of it a little bit, right? I would have made a big thing about it, maybe for a little bit, and then I would have moved on. But the fact that he wrote an entire book about why people should not take comedians so seriously. And then he engages in this behavior while he's leaking direct messages with random people is bizarre. It's bizarre. Why is he doing this? 
I, I, I really, I really, I really, it is fascinating. It is fascinating. It is fascinating. This is some real fascinating stuff. I would say that Ben Burgess is absolutely a liberal. His theory of change is absolutely liberal. Um, he focuses on civility to the extent that it's so liberal. Now, again, Ben Burgess is okay with calling people like Charlie Kirk apparently stupid or dumb or evil. That's fine. Right? But for someone to criticize him in a similar way and sarcastically use curse words, that's unacceptable. Now, again, he might have ostensibly socialist opinions and policy opi uh, positions, right? But the way he goes about enacting change is fully liberal. When has Ben Burgess ever endorsed direct action organizing? When has he ever talked about that kind of stuff? His entire career is based on logically debating right-wingers online. That's liberal. That, like, I'm sorry, that theory of change that you're going to enact some major sociological change or impact by debating Charlie Kirk, that is liberal as hell. And also, he's smug, and he's civility-focused, like, Hillary Clinton-esque. Like, seriously, what is he gonna tell me? Pokemon, go to the polls next? Like, what is this, what is, like, next on the docket for this guy? Seriously, like, I'm asking sincerely? I don't know who created Pokemon Go. But I'm trying to figure out how we get them to have Pokemon go to the polls. Well, like, that's the thing here, though. Also, like, I'm, I'm debating whether or not I should leak my DMs with Ben Burgess. In fact... Folks, you know what? I am not going to leak the DMs with Ben Burgess. That said, I will provide to you a play-by-play -play of our conversation. So on May 30th, 2021, I responded to him in a DM because he told me uh, to DM him or something. I said, sup Ben, how's your day? He said, a little strangely, honestly, internet wasn't working at home until basically just now. So I saw the tweet about your video. I haven't watched it yet, but the video itself... Uh, I suppose I can guess the gist. Yeah, I, and I respond, yeah, it's a pretty good video, colon P. I'm being silly. He said, actually, could you send me the video link again? The video is entitled Logic King Ben Burgess Engages in Historical Revisionism over January 6th. That was the video title, the original video. I wrote, here you go, bud. So he responded, okay, I gave it a shot, but it's just too obnoxious. Do you really think I was saying that about that Ilhan Omar never talked about Medicare for All. So he, he quote unquote, gave it a shot. So he watched like the first 30, 40 seconds of my video. I made it very clear what my opinion was in the video. Right? So then we proceeded to, instead of having a conversation, right? Instead of having like the conversation on a podcast, we debated January 6th indirect messages. So that's what I want to say here. So we had a full-on conversation about January 6th, right? And it lasted for a couple of hours in DMs, right? So he posted something. I, like, we made jokes about it, right? He posted a link to someone saying that, you know, they were trampled in the January 6th riot. I said that that's hilarious. He said, and I quote, I am very much in favor of laughing at these people. He said, and I quote, I am very much in favor of laughing at these people. So we can laugh at Trumpers that get killed by their comrades at a riot. That's fun to laugh at. We can laugh at that, Ben Burgess. But I can't call you a beta male because you're refusing to publicly acknowledge me. We had a fine conversation. So again, the timeline here is he gets mad that I insulted him in my initial video. And then we have a beautiful, normal, legitimate, fine conversation. And I apologize to him if I came off the wrong way. And I told him I was joking around and playing it up. So again, this, like it was fine in the DMs. It was completely acceptable and fine. And then he ghosts me for three weeks. And then he starts this weird 
this bizarre public thing where about, oh, the initial videos. If the initial video was such a problem, Ben, why did we debate January 6th in DMs? Why did you and I DM for several hours debating points about how bad January 6th was? If I was such an asshole in your estimation that your ideological principles could never let you to succumb to bullying to debate me, if I were such a horrible person, why would we have a multi-hour long conversation in direct messages? It's because this isn't a serious opinion that he has. He's doing this for clout. I'm sorry. He has a public position and he has a private position. Hillary Clinton, how the sausage is made. Remember that one? You got to have a, a position you have in public and you got to have a private position. In private, Ben Burgess was fine having a conversation with me, but he doesn't want to have it in public. He's afraid to have a conversation in public with me because he doesn't want to look stupid. So he's playing a character in public that is different from his character in private. Again, if this is so true, what I have on screen right here, if it's so true, Bestie, that I am such an evil motherfucker that he's not going to even dignify my comedy videos with a response, why did we have a several hour long conversation in direct messages? I have no problem saying in public what I say in private. I have no problem at all. Why is Ben Burgess afraid to have a public conversation with me? A private conversation, that's fine. But a, a public one, nope, can't do it. And that's my problem with him. And this is why I'm losing respect for him. Because is this how he behaves all the time? Is he a completely different person in private and public? Like, what is this? Seriously, I've never seen moral grandstanding like this before in my life. Especially, I mean, I, I have. But still, it's embarrassing. From someone like Ben Burgess, it's embarrassing. Am I blocked yet? I'm not blocked yet. What the hell's going on here? What is taking so long? But again, this guy is very clearly lying. He's very clearly making up a character, and he is not a truthful person. Now, I could leak the DMs. I could. The entire thing is literally him saying he got upset, I apologized, and then we had a very big, long conversation. Like, again. Again. If, if my video was so hurtful to Ben... Why would we have several hour long conversation in DMs? Like, that's the thing that really gets me. That's what really gets me. I said, quote, my apologies, bud. I like to swear. I will send, I will send a screenshot of this, actually. This is, this was my apology that he said was like sociopathic or whatever. I mean, I just, I like to swear. What does, and he accepted the apology and we continued to have a conversation. Again, that's the thing about it. If like, if it stopped there, I said, if, if it was like, la la la, my apologies, but I like to swear. And then he said, well, it's not okay, whatever. And then he just stopped talking to me. That's one thing. But again, like, listen to the scroll wheel on my mouse. I'm going to listen. Like, listen to it. That's how many DMs we had. That I can scroll that many times to get to the bottom. So I'm just like, what is this shit, man? Like, the guy's playing a character, and it's really embarrassing. It's embarrassing. Like, if my apology was sociopathic, why respond? Why accept it and have a conversation with me? That it's bizarre. He deleted what? Wait. He deleted what? Is it something in here? Wait. I mean, I already got it in the video. I already got it in my video, so it doesn't matter. But, like, what did he delete? 
<laughs> like, what do we got here? Oh! Oh! Ah! Ah! Like, I mean, again, I mean, I don't know what the hell is going on here. I really, I mean. I would say, oh, oh, I'm not a beta male. I'm not a beta male. You know, you're a beta male. Beta! I would say, oh! Like, oh, what I'm are you doing, Ben? What are you doing, Ben? What are you doing? What are you doing? What is this? This is a joke. This is a joke. Again, I have no problem with that. Like, my problem, like, I, like, his bad, horrible take on January 6th which David Feldman and Aaron Green destroyed him on. David Feldman genuinely made him look like a stupid motherfucker. So thank you, David. And again, David likes uh, likes Ben too. I like Ben. I liked Ben. I don't know. Ben doesn't like me, so whatever. But like, I like, that is a separate incident from all this. The lying, the pretending in public versus in private, the being a different person in public versus private the overreaction the lying like it's just what are you doing i think he's watching a show i mean i wouldn't you know i wouldn't presume that necessarily but i mean what are you doing i did quote tweet his tweets asking why ben leaks dms so that's probably why he saw that but like what are you doing ben i seriously like i know that the segment's been dragging on and maybe this will be the last one i mean maybe he'll block me and it'll be over but i mean like i don't get it at all. I don't get it at all. Looks like JL uh, JLP was right. Beta. God damn. God damn. This is the tweeting experience. You're watching me tweet live. I just, I don't know, man. Like, I, I gotta be real here. I'm real with y'all. I'm a real, I'm a normal person. I understand that like, I guess Ben Burgess isn't a normal person. And that's like the disconnect here. But I need y'all to understand, I am a normal person. So I'm not gonna play a character in private and public. I might like, you know, be sarcastic or goof around, but I'm not gonna like pretend to just not, that's not what I do. I don't know, like I see no, I see no advantage to, to pretending to be different people in different environments. Outside of, like, goofing around, like, you know? It's bizarre. I mean, I, I guess a lot of people in the podcast space are just, like... And this is what I mean, like, by corrupt. Like, I don't think Ben is, like, corrupt as in he takes money from big corporations or anything. I think he's corrupt as in he's got main character syndrome. Right? He thinks that he's, like, literally the, the primary main... He's the protagonist. But he also, he's, like, trying to play, like, political podcasting realm Machiavellian style. Like, I gotta pull some strings in private and public. I gotta be this person. I gotta do this and that. It's like, bro, just, like, have a conversation. Like, if it's about logic, it's, if it's about arguments, just have a conversation. Just have a fucking conversation. I don't even know, man. It's embarrassing though. I mean, <laughs> it is embarrassing. <laughs>